Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install custom ROMs if you have a Verizon Galaxy S4 on the latest ME7 build number. Um, if you're on the previous version, you don't have to do this. You can just install Twerp or Clock or My Recovery. Um, but if you're on uh, ME7 Verizon, um, go ahead and root it. I'll have root instructions on my site. So if you haven't rooted it, go ahead and root it. Uh, once you've rooted your phone, um, you will have to go and download this one file, uh, which I'll show you here. Uh, if you use, if you go to your download folder, if you download straight on your phone, download the latest version of Strap, uh, Safe Strap by Hashcode. Um, this is a Safe Strap recovery, similar to Twerp, uh, but it will allow you to install custom ROMs on your ME7. Um, so go ahead and download it um, to your phone or to your computer and copy it over to your phone. Uh, and then try to install it. If you get this error, just go here and check unknown sources and try to install it again. And go ahead and install it. This app is very, very simple. Um, go ahead and hit open. And make sure you hit grant. And then, in oh, no, now it owns You're supposed to hit install recovery. Sorry, there we go. Go ahead and hit install recovery. If you, anytime you want to uninstall it, you can always hit uh, run this app again and hit uninstall recovery. And you want to reboot into recovery, you can um, just press that. And this will reboot uh, you into recovery. Now, before rebooting into recovery, um, do make sure you have a custom ROM you want to install. Copy it over to your phone. Uh, my recommendation, if you ask me. Um, also, for the custom ROM, you must install ME7 um, custom ROMs. You can't install like MD5. So uh, the latest version of Hyperdrive ROM uh, 9.1, I'll also have links to that. It's a very nice ROM. Um, you can install it on any, any ME7 based uh, custom ROMs, but MD5, you can't install it. It won't work. I've tried it already. All right, once booted into Safe Strive Recovery, um, let me kind of show you. This is similar to Twerp. It is based on Twerp, um, but it's slightly different Safe Strap. The way it works is that um, you don't install a ROM over the existing ROM. Um, you get four different ROM slots. Um, basically, you create a ROM slot. Um, so let's go ahead and create one. And you can choose the par uh, data partition size. Uh, I usually choose two gigabytes so it doesn't take up too much space. Make sure you have enough space. Um, I have about five gigs. And go ahead and create ROM slots. And this should take about five minutes. Now, creating a ROM slot uh, with two gigabytes um, that's only going to give you two gigabytes of uh, data space for your apps. Now, do not worry um, if you since uh, if you install latest ME seven base custom uh, ROMs, um, they'll have app to SD support. You'll be able to move some of your apps to uh, SD card. Um, that way, um, you can still install a custom ROM and install a bunch of apps. Um, so this should take about five minutes, and uh, I will be right back. All right, once ROM slot one has been made, uh, it will be highlighted, which means it is active. So now if you boot, it's gonna boot into ROM slot one. It has no custom ROM, um, so you will have to install a custom ROM. Anytime you wanna switch back to stock ROM, go ahead and choose act activate, reboot, and you'll be back on stock ROM in no time. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, ROM slot one now. And if you go back to home, now all of these actions you do will be based on the ROM slot one. Um, so let's go ahead and install a custom ROM. Uh, we'll do a factory reset first. Uh, very, very important. Um, you might get this message, unable to mount internal storage. That means it didn't actually format it. Um, so make sure you reboot uh, back into recovery. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot into system. And I'll also show you how to enter safe drive recovery. Now you get an extra menu when it boots. Um, my camera might not pick it up. But there's a menu where you can press the menu button to go into recovery or the uh, back button to go to continue. You'll see it right there. So I'm gonna go hit uh, menu button here and this will enter me back into recovery. Now because I made a new ROM slot, um, you know, if you reboot into recovery, it'll fix that issue where it's not recognizing, um, it's not wiping correctly. So make sure you read that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe again. Oops, no. I'm gonna go ahead and hit wipe again. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe. And it should say updating partition details. I didn't get any errors like before. Then we're good to go. And go ahead and install any ME7 based uh, custom ROM. Um, you should have copied it over to your phone already. 
Uh, well, the one I really recommend is Hyperdrive RLS uh, S4 Final. This is on ME7 base ROM. Um, go ahead and uh, confirm the flash. And this will bring up the Aroma installer. I'm just going to go through it. Some custom ROMs don't have uh, this, and it will just install it. Um, some do. And let's go ahead and walk through real quick. And I'm just going to go hit next and just do the default run full ROM install. Um, and I'm just going to go through these options real quick. And let's go ahead and install this ROM. And when it's done, we should have a brand new custom ROM installed on our Ryzen Galaxy S4. Uh, with the latest ME7, so now you have uh, you can use SafeStrap to install new ROMs. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, folks. So it is done. I'm going to go ahead and hit next, reboot now, and this should reboot us into uh, the new ROM. Now the important thing is um, you'll see the screen again, the SafeStrap screen. Um, you can either wait or hit continue, which is the back button. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue when the screen comes up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. You can probably barely see it. And you should see some kind of boot up animation within like five seconds. If you don't see it, um, most likely you're going to be in a boot loop. But I did not see it. Boom shakalaka. Uh, we've got a new custom ROM installed. Now, again, the most important point, I've, I've been actually using SafeStrap um, to make this video. Uh, I've had a time where I you know, keep getting into boot loop. And I found out it was that instance when I was trying to wipe do a fa factory reset um, it was actually not mounting so when you're in safe side recovery make sure you read the messages and if you get any errors make sure you reboot um, safe side recovery and then install your ROM otherwise it works flawless um, just as good as the regular twerk and when this is done um, we should be all good to go. Now, if you want to ever switch back to stock ROM, the good thing with Safe Stripe Recovery, you don't have to make a backup ROM. It's your stock ROMs are already there with all your settings, all your passwords, all stuff. So just reboot into Safe Stripe Recovery. Um, just hit the menu button while it's booting and uh, activate your stock ROM, reboot, and you'll be back in uh, your stock ROM, which I'll actually show you here just in case um, you guys want to go back. And there we go. Once you get the startup screen, you are good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot, restart, and I'm going to go ahead and um, hit the menu button. Now when you reboot, um, try to not to use a custom uh, ROM menu for reboot. It might not work with the safe strap. Just reboot and then hit the menu button uh, when you see the safe strap menu. That is probably the best way. I'm going to go ahead and revert back to stock just to show you how easy it is. Um, it's going to reboot now, and we'll see. Um, We'll see the safe strap recovery menu here in a second, which I'm going to go ahead and press the menu button. There we go. There we go. That's the safe strap recovery. I'm going to hit the menu button. That will enter me into a safe strap recovery here. And I'm going to switch back. This is a great way if you want to install a bunch of different custom ROMs, um, you can have a bunch of different custom ROM slots. Um, and the switch between it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to boot options, activate my stock ROM back here, uh, hit the home button, reboot system, and boom shotclock. I'm back in my custom, oh, uh, sorry, my stock ROM, um, and that's pretty much it, which is really cool. Um, so there are advantages to using SafeStrap um, and also disadvantages. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And my stock ROM should uh, is actually a hyperdrive ROM, actually because um, I was on the custom ROM. But if you had a, a stock ROM here, it would actually boot that. But this should take like no more than five more seconds here because this ROM boots really fast. Highly recommend it. And boom, shock lock. I'm back into whatever ROM I had before. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Now you can go ahead and install a bunch of custom ROMs. Make sure you install ME7 based custom ROMs. I have not tried Google Play Edition. You can go ahead and try it. It should work also. Um, but uh, I've outlined all the stuff you can go, that can go wrong and uh, how to fix it. And I will see you guys soon. Um, as always, if you like this video, if this video has helped you install custom ROMs on your ME7-based Verizon Galaxy S4, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips hacks uh, like this. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button there, or wherever it is. And yeah, stay high on Galaxy S4.